The village that I call home is here in East Sussex. It's a village with a, a real heart to it, a very strong community spirit. There's a couple of pubs, um, a few shops, and a beautiful 11th century church at its centre. I come here most days when I take a break from my painting. I like to sit here beneath the east window. It was designed in the 19th century by Sir Edward Byrne-Jones and made by William Morris. There's a calm, a stillness, a peace to be found in the silence. I find it's a place to do nothing but just be without a thought for anything else. I live with my wife Lynn and their dog Archie at the bottom of the hill. Our house is nestled within its tranquil garden with great views of the church. The commute to work for me is a short one. That's if you can call one's passion work. It's out of the back door and up to the shed. Sitting here at this easel, looking out of these windows, I feel blessed and nothing but grateful for life itself. What a place to sit and paint. I'm often asked where my ideas come from. I mean, my inspiration comes from various things, from childhood memories, family, country life, days spent down by the sea, the glorious South Downs, which are just a stone's throw away from here, and everything is influenced strongly by my faith. My mornings are spent mainly painting at the easel. Afternoons I tend to plan new ideas and write poetry for the paintings. I'm surrounded by all my bits and bobs, brushes, canvases, luscious tubes of paint. I can honestly say this is my idea of heaven on earth. I've been very fortunate that the project I've worked on has been embraced by Sir Ralph Waller, the Farmington Institute, and the deans of these cathedrals. Their support has given me the chance to put these works before you. The chapel is a special place for me because as well as painting here, it's a space I come to every evening to sit with God in silent contemplation. I mean, to me, Christ is as much with us today as he was when he walked the earth 2,000 years ago. And this is why I choose to bring the Gospels into our times. I find this all quite humbling really as, you know, this is God's work, it's the son of God's story and it's merely my interpretation in paint. If any of these works provoke a reaction to the possibility of someone's renewed faith in Christ, then my job is done. And if not, it really doesn't matter as I'm not trying to convert anybody but just trying to share my own faith in Jesus Christ. I mean, for everything that God lets happen, there's nothing pointless in my eyes. <laughs>